Welcome back to my first day of uni. This is so scary, like first day of my third semester. So for everyone who is new here, hi, my name is Leia. I'm 21 years old. I come from Germany. It's my third year now. I'm a business student and like actually it's my third semester, but because I studied at another university, it's my fifth semester. But in overall, I think I'm gonna be finished in like in two years, three and a half semesters. Yeah, like it's gonna be a lot this year. I'm planning on joining some clubs. I I already applied for them so yesterday it was a lot I think the last weeks I applied for so many things I've never in my life wrote so many applications in a week but I think it's gonna be normal as a business student keep you guys updated Bye. It's just gonna give you a quick update. It's already 9 a.m. and I didn't make it to uni, unfortunately. And I could have thought of it earlier. The subway wasn't running today because of the storm warning we have here in Vienna. I don't know why, but I didn't think about it. So I ended up wandering around and just came back home. So it took me over an hour to get back home because even though the subway wasn't running, the trams and the buses, they don't run as often as they normally do. So you can guess it was really crowded and it took me so long to get back home. But I used the time and ended up doing some groceries. I filled my fridge. I live on the fourth floor, so and there is no elevator, so I have to get everything up the stairs. You don't want to do that more than just one time a week, so I just did that. Now I'm back here, I'm just gonna do myself breakfast and then I'm gonna review the slides of my lecture. I'm just gonna work on that. Oh, and there is like another thing I wanted to share with you guys and I'm so scared of it because we have one lecture in my uni that like everyone wants to get into it. It's like a specialization and they only take 60 students and I applied for it like two weeks ago and then last week they put me on the waiting list and I mean waiting list is not a bad sign you still have a chance to get into the course but like I had to wait for over a week and you don't even know if someone is gonna drop out or not like there is a chance that some people are gonna drop off but you never know I'm really nervous because today I got the email whether I made it into the course or not and that makes me so nervous because I checked my emails this morning and I didn't get any message yet and I don't know if I'm supposed to get a message if I didn't make it they said in the last email they weren't they're gonna send something so I'm just so so nervous but I'm gonna keep you guys updated. Just have to eat something now because my stomach needs food. <laughs> I'm starving. Then, yes, I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna prepare something nice for lunch today. I'm definitely going for a Thai curry, which is like an autumn winter dish I love doing when it gets cozy. It's my go-to. I I don't know what to say right now. I was super nervous all morning. Get this email and I wasn't even looking for the email. I was just going through my mail account. 
and then I just saw like I just saw the headline available spot and I was like I can't even explain my emotions right now I'm just so so grateful and so happy I made it into the course I'm just super super excited and don't know what to say anymore I'm gonna celebrate with Alexandra the girl I just called I'm gonna meet her in a cafe a cafe later like it's such a relief to have the answer and I'm so ready for the semester with that see you guys later ago i haven't talked to you since a week i think because i've been editing so much the last week so i don't have time to think about other vlogs but this is my second week of uni and i have an exam tomorrow but it's only 25 percent of my grade so it's not that serious and that's why i'm gonna start studying today so one day today so it's a study sunday and i'm just ready for library just want to show you my fit quickly yes what do you think i like it like since i bought this jacket here I love wearing it. The only thing is it's out of wool, so it's kind of itchy when you have it on, but I just love it too much to not wear it. <laughs> but pants, Halhuba, Massimo Dutti, naked. And then this one is from, it's from a market in Hamburg. They had like lots of uh, other jackets. Just watch my Hamburg vlog and then you see where I got it from. But like there is no like, actual label. So I don't know, but I think you can find it online as well, I think. Yes, and then my library bag. I have some food with me. I prepared cookies that I baked the last days. And then I have some couscous, an apple, and of course water. So reminder, stay hydrated and hope you have an amazing day. See you later. Bye. <laughs> First study Sunday. Slay. <laughs> By Google Drive. By Canva. Yeah. Nice. That's good. That's how you Good morning, guys. Oh, no. Good afternoon. <laughs> My brain is not working right now. I just ran 10k. It's 4 p.m. Can't even talk right now. I just wanted to give you another, some quick updates. I just had a 10k run and not the best day. Um, first of all, um, I'm gonna post a lot more running content, I think, the next week. I think there is gonna be a German vlog coming up soon, so <laughs> excited for that. But yeah, I don't even know which topic I wanna like go on first. Let's talk about my last uni week. We have summer uni at the moment and I had one class. It's really interesting and we talk a lot about China. And you know the professor? I thought he's gonna be nice in grading because he was really nice in class and he was always like he's from Hong Kong and he speaks English. And he was always arguing about the system at our uni that he doesn't like it. 
and that he can't remember our faces so he, he said he's gonna be really nice in grading and he told us we get 10 points which is 10% of my total grade for just being there just like your grade for participation and I'm really good in participation I always say something I uh, always and I know my participation as well and I did good and it is so annoying because friends and also from my group that never said anything and they have a better grade than I have like I got 7.5 points out of 10 and some got 8 or 9 or even 10 and that is so unfair because I have like I need a 1 like an A grade in my exam because I have to get better grades for my exchange semester for applying for unis and that's why like I'm really focused on good grades like, and at the moment I have 22.5 in participation so it's like um, the time you were in class and I was always there so I get 15 out of that and then the participation is 10 points so then we have a group presentation that was um, 25 points as well but we only got 21.5 which is also we don't we don't get it like we don't know why because in class he never said something bad and I would say we had one of the best presentations in the class and our discussion in the end was really good so I don't know it just like it annoys me a lot so I ran it off like in this run right now and then we had the final exam this morning so we have participation then we have group presentation then we have an exam that we had this morning it, it, which is also graded 25% of my grade and then we also have an essay a thousand word essay which I have to do until next week so I have to make sure my essay is gonna be 25 points because my exam didn't go well. It was so bad, it was an online exam. and I just don't wanna argue about it. It was just bad and I'm annoyed by my professors of how they grade and because like he doesn't, he told us in the end he couldn't remember our faces. So he doesn't even know how to grade, he just does it like out of hand. He's like, okay, I think you did good. I'm gonna give you seven points, the other one it's 10. I'm like, what the fuck? Then just be nice and give everyone the same grade because that is so unfair. Like, it is actually so unfair. And I, I'm like an, a person that never argues about things like that, but because my grades are so important for me at the moment for my exchange semester, it doesn't know so much. It's so bad. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I just finished my run and it was actually quite funny because I did my zone two run and I am focusing on my general endurance and then also my, on intervals so I get faster because I wanna, like, I'm going to run the half marathon in 2025 in Vienna. I thought about running it in Freiburg in my hometown because it's cheaper there, like I pay half price there. <laughs> like here it's 110 euros. Like actually guys, why do some, like why do people pay 110 euros to run a half marathon? You're like, actually you, you're killing yourself for doing that. Your legs are gonna be sore as fuck and I'm doing it. <laughs> don't ask me why, I don't know. It's just my bucket list, I wanna do it. <laughs> But yeah, it just annoys me. Oh my god, I'm just so down right now. But anyways, I ran 10k and it was really good. And I talked with a friend and it was kind of nice catching up because to run zone 2, I don't have a watch. Like I have a watch, but I didn't use it. So it's important that you don't have a high heart rate. So it's easy for you to breathe. They also say online that you just have to be able to talk. So I was like to my best friend at home because we haven't talked in a while because she's busy. Because she's moving to a different city as well for university now. Her uni year starts now. It's so crazy. Oh yes. So we had like a lot to catch up on. And so I was like, okay, Jill, let's do like that. I'm just going to go on a run. And you know, I have to be able to talk. So I have to run really slow. And it worked pretty well. I had to do a stop because I needed a toilet halfway through. So I went to McDonald's, <laughs> went to the toilet, and then so I finished it. 10k in like one hour and I think 12 minutes. My pace was like seven-ish. I'm gonna drink a lot to hydrate. Reminder to you, if you haven't hydrated, get yourself some water. And yeah, see you later. Bye. Okay, quick update guys. I just had my shower and just gonna go to the grocery store grocery store and run some errands and i'm gonna make pumpkin today with my roommate i'm pretty excited for it because it's fall season so you have to do some fall recipes anyways i wanted to show you something cool because i have some issues with headaches i was sitting in class and then i decided to buy glasses i ordered them from amazon 20 euros <laughs> guys i never wear glasses so it's kind of awkward but i wanted to show you <laughs> <laughs> I can't. 
sexy. Ah, sexy, isn't it? <laughs> like honestly, I don't know I don't know what to think about it. Write it in the comments what you think. I look so smart. I look so smart. Imagine like being in the library sitting there and be like, oh she's so smart. She wears glasses, like. And then if you just if you just add a hair clip, you actually look like a teacher. Hey class, like today, um, we have an exam. I look like a teacher. I mean, I look smart, but I didn't buy it for that reason. <laughs> I talked to some friends and they told me it's actually pretty helpful to use it. I use my laptop every single day, all the time, 24 seven. And that's why I thought it's a great idea to just try it out. And I mean, it's just 20 years on Amazon. So I was like, hello guys, good morning. We're back in town. <laughs> no, but. What day is it today? I think it's Wednesday. And I just had the most chill morning ever. I mean, I have to finish an essay, but I just called uh, long distance friends this morning. And you know, it's so hard to catch up on things because you just live somewhere else and you just have stuff to do. So we didn't talk for like a half a year, I think. And I met her, like her name is Fabienne Fabs, if you're watching this, hi. This t-shirt is also from uh, Bobby Seuss, where I went on in my gap year. This is also where I met her. And it was just so nice catching up. Like we just talked for, I think oh one and a half hours and it just feels so good it just gives me so much energy just talking a lot and i actually realized how how much miss being away and being abroad meeting new people we are also thinking about meeting uh, next year in a different city again because she's from ireland um so maybe london or somewhere else we we're gonna see but i didn't want to talk too much about that um i'm going to the city i'm gonna meet two friends because i have to buy some gifts for two friends I'm celebrating the birthday on friday uh so i have to get ready actually because i don't have that much time left and I don't know what to wear. So, but I thought I'm going for this one. I'm ending it with my blazer. So, just have, like, I don't know. I'm just not satisfied with it. But I'm just, I'm just gonna try it on. I'm gonna show you. Please help me. Okay, guys. I completely changed the fit. Like, not completely, but I'm wearing my sweater now. This cute hoodie. What do we think? I like it. I love it. <laughs> okay, uh, this one's from Minton. Actually, from Zara. But I bought it, I think, two years ago. So, love this one. Then this pants, also from Zara. And then my cute bag. Esprit, I think we are off to go and let's go to the city. Bye bye. cozy because outside it's raining right now and gloomy and you know just like the autumn weather and so i'm just so ready to get under the shower and get my pajamas on and cook something because i have to finish some uni work i have to write my essay i wanted to show you some things i got to rituals because we thought a friend of mine already bought, bought two cups and then we thought we just make like a little autumn gift set getting ready for winter so and it was actually pretty nice because i got these two and then and it was so nice because i don't know for some reason i got another one for free so i have one for my own as well so i'm still thinking which one i should keep but i think i'm gonna keep this one and then we're gonna give this one to uh, to friends of ours and then yeah, i got a new lamp because mine isn't working so i have to solve that problem so i got one for euro then i got something so special like it's not it's not even special but i'm just so happy about it because i was looking for some towels like i have a blue one and a green one and it's just so ugly and i wanted to buy baby blue ones but then i went to badlas and they had sale right now and it was so so cheap and then i saw these towels and it was so pretty and they were so cheap like i paid like about two of them one and two and i paid 22 euros it was on sale. It was so nice. So like one for 12 euros, a towel, and it's, it feels so nice. I actually made a deal with also these two because I got this one for free. So I have one for my own and I love virtual. So this is so nice. So lovely. And what I wanted to show you, um, I'm in the VU Entrepreneurship Center and yesterday we had all like welcome day and then we got this cute bottle. We also got a sweater, but I have to wash it first. But so cute, this one. And then we also got this bag from a uni. It says VU Vienna, so cute. But yeah, I'm gonna take a shower, so bye. <laughs> 